get the latest from our correspondent, John Hendrett, who joins us on the line from Chicago. John, what uh, further details have you heard about this uh, incident in uh, Denver? Well, we're hearing new details about the gunman. Police are reporting that they have a, a uh, young male, a 24-year-old white man in custody. Uh, apparently, that he said something about having bombs. Because of that, police surrounded his apartment. They cleared the, apart the parking lot of this theater, searching cars for bombs, including the gunman's own vehicle. Now, according to witnesses... He apparently came out in a bulletproof vest from uh, an exit or someplace behind the screen, set off either a smoke bomb or some kind of gas, depending on the witness you speak to, and then just began randomly shooting into the crowd. Police report that they are decontaminating some of these people. That suggests that this was some kind of gas, like tear gas. Um, he apparently had three guns in his custody, a rifle and a handgun with him, and uh, apparently left one handgun inside the movie theater. This was a, a, a packed theater. This was a, a, one of the most anticipated films of the summer, and there were 16 different theaters in this movie complex in a suburban area about 10 miles from Denver called Aurora. So this would have been a really packed theater with a lot of people in there, a lot of activity, and there were a lot of victims, and that may speak to the size of the numbers of victims in this case. And the death toll right now stands at 14, I understand, John. Uh, what about the number of injuries, uh, and are the authorities expecting this death toll to rise? Well, the death toll did rise earlier. Ten of those people died in the theater. Four apparently died in area hospitals. The number of wounded is really staggering. Fifty people are being treated for wounds that range from minor to critical at area hospitals. Uh, some of those may simply be treated for some kind of gas. But some of them were shot. Grainy cell phone video that has been shown on local television here in the U.S. It shows people coming out with blood on their clothes. This was a, a truly massive shooting. Okay, John, thank you very much for that update. John Hendren out of uh, Chicago there as we watch these latest live pictures from Denver uh, in Colorado where at least 14 people again have been killed in a shooting spree at a movie theater. Uh, a lot of injuries, John was telling us earlier, at least 50 people injured who are being treated in nearby hospitals.